Welcome to the Garden of Nothing, it is such a lovely place where you have absolutely everything you will ever need as long as you are satisfied and don't ask questions. Well, I'm one lucky guy and I like it here but I don't have any friends and I have looked everywhere. I seek out likely animals, like chimps, but I am an outsider. Well, you must understand I am the ultimate thinker and you are made in my image and I will do your thinking for you. But, let me see what I can do, but just this once. Let's put it this way, if you think on your own instead of through me you are doomed. So you must choose what I have already chosen for you. So, there are consequences, do you hear? I have never made any of my own decisions but, would it not help if you gave me a sidekick, someone to assist me in what I do and for a true friend? Very well, when you fall asleep I will remove part of your body to create for you your sidekick, taken directly from your side, as it were. But, you may be sorry. Okay, but will it hurt? I am not good at elective surgery, so do I have a choice in this matter? Or is this another one of those things I should not think about on my own? I made this choice for you because you said you were all alone. That does not please me, but your sidekick and you are two peas in a pod, so make the best of it. It is best for you. Okay, let's give it a GIM game and I am sure my sidekick will give me wise counsel because all of this seems to be getting a wee bit tricky with so many questions and so few answer. Tricky or not, you must know that I always know what is best for you and if it does not seem so, just be patient and it will become clear that I know best. But, what will my sidekick be like? Can she talk? Will she know what is best? I certainly hope because I have not ever made a decision in my whole life. You must understand this. You are the boss and must make all the decisions and she is but your servant companion and, as I say, you make all the decisions. I hold you responsible. Wow! Now that you put it that way, why would I listen to her any more than the clucking of a hen, or the braying of a donkey? Well, like I say, you have everything you will ever need as long as you obey me in all things. And, it's too bad you demand friendship beyond what you and I share. But, I warn you, cross me and you will pay dearly. I will do my best because I really like it in the garden of no think. But, you tell me that I'm made in your own image and that you are the supreme thinker and think for yourself. So, if I am made in your image, then I think I should be able to think for myself, also. Very well, I will give you something to think about what you see around you. In this garden of no think there are many trees and all of them are good for food. All of them. I know, I have tasted almost all of them, with the exception of one or two that were a little harder to come by. Well, thank God you have not yet tasted of the tree of knowledge of good and evil which would allow you to make your own decisions and suffer the consequences. What consequences, pray tell? You will not be able to stay in this garden. You will have to get a job. You will have to learn to get along with your servant companion. And, you will die. Then, why is this tree in the garden of no think, anyway? Are you tempting me? Why is this thing about the tree? Is this a trial and error sort of thing? Is this a setup? Don't mess with me. I gave you life and I can take you out. Do you hear me? Are you sure you have not already eaten of the tree of knowledge of good and evil? Not, me. You can count on it, for sure. But, tell me about the tree of life. Is it some sort of antidote to counteract the after effects of the evil tree? I cannot believe the rashness of your comments. And, if I did not know better I would think you have already eaten the forbidden fruit of that tree. Sometimes I wonder if I made a mistake in making you in my own image. Listen, I think but you must not. When I meet my servant companion, I will tell her these things and see what she thinks. You are the boss, mister. And, if you let her make the decisions it cannot ever turn out for the good. And, if you eat from the tree, I will kill you both. But there is serpent in the garden whispering eat and be happy and that you do not want us to think because you are jealous sort of a generational kind of thing. 
God be with you.